In my previous videos, I assembly program 80 Mega 328 built-in ATD converter and displayed the 10-bit result on LEDs. I also programmed LCD interfaced with the Arduino and displayed string of characters on the LCD screen. In this video, analog voltage from the potentiometer is digitized by the analog to digital converter and the digitized value is then displayed on the LCD screen. Before I begin explaining the project, a quick introduction on assembler directives, which are not part of the assembly code, but rather instructions for the assembler used to enhance the functionality of the assembly code. This table shows a sample of these uh, directives, some of which were used in my previous uh, assembly codes. The include directive is used to include supporting files such as uh, header files and as an example here we are including the header file AVR slash IO which allows the assembly code to uh, interact with uh, IO ports and registers. The global directive defines global variables or subroutines used in the assembly code. For example here we are defining two global subroutines LCD write and initialize ADC. The set directive defines local variables used in the code. The byte directive reserves byte either in static RAM or EEPROM to be assigned to a variable or a register. The ASCII directive reserves string in static RAM or EEPROM. And this is the syntax for using the directive. So the string between the double quotations can then be assigned character by character to a register or a variable. The directive must be preceded by a label. And finally we have the equate directive which defines constant to be used in the code. So for example here we are assigning this constant value to this variable via the equate directive. To learn more about other directives you can refer to the AVR assembler manual by Atmel. The status register inside the 80 mega microcontroller is shown here. Conditional branch instructions are executed based on the status of flag bits within this register. The carry flag is set whenever we have a uh, carry out from a byte addition. The zero flag is set when we have uh, zero resulting from arithmetic operation or logic operation. The negative flag is set when we have a negative value resulting from subtraction. And we have the overflow flag which is set whenever we have uh, overflow resulting from two's complement operation. And we have the sign flag which is related to sign numbers. And we have the half carry flag which is set whenever we have a carry out from a binary coded decimal addition. As an example, to demonstrate the impact of uh, arithmetic operations on the status uh, flags, here we have this piece of assembly code. We are using instruction subtract immediate. We are, we are subtracting this constant from the content of register R28 and the result goes into register R28. And then we are using this uh, conditional branch instruction which is branch if plus. If the result of this subtraction is positive, by checking the uh, the status register n, the negative register, if it is 0, it means the result is positive. If it was 1, then the result is negative. So if the result of subtraction is positive, then the program will jump to this label. Otherwise, if negative, then this instruction will be skipped. And now we come to the system implemented in this video. We have the LCD display interface with the UNO, where the four uh, data lines are connected to four digital pins of port D. The two control lines register select and enable are connected to two digital pins of port B and a 10k pot is connected to pin PC0 of port C. And now for a quick demonstration. Note that the digitized value on the LCD is 8 bits and in hexadecimal. In order to simplify the assembly code, 8 bits of the 
analog to digital converter output is used instead of the 10 bits. In addition, to further simplify the code, the digitized value is displayed in hexadecimal rather than decimal. Now let's look at the steps needed to display the 8-bit digitized value in hexadecimal on the LCD screen. The ADC is programmed so that the 10-bit result copied into pair registers ADCH and ADCL are stored in a left justified manner. Now we will ignore the 2 bits stored in ADCL and focus on the 8 bits stored in ADCH. The 8 bit value in register ADCH is split into two parts. We have the most significant nibble, which will represent the most significant digit of the hexadecimal uh, value, and we have the least significant nibble, which will represent the least significant digit of the hexi value. Now let's look at the steps needed to display this most significant nibble on the LCD screen as a most significant hexadecimal digit. We start by copying the 8-bit digitized byte in ADCH into register R16 using the instruction LDS which is load immediate from data space. And then we need to mask the least significant nibble and keep the most significant nibble using the AND immediate instruction. But before we can do the masking, we need to store a copy of uh, the digitized value in R16 into the stack using the push instruction. The reason for this because we will need uh, the digitized value later on to process the least significant nibble. Next, we want to swap the position of the most significant nibble so that it is located here, which means that we are converting it into a 4-bit number. And we do this by using the swap instruction within the assembly code. Next, we add 48 to R16 to get the ASCII value for the characters from 0 to 9. Keep in mind that the LCD will only accept ASCII characters. With reference to this ASCII table, if we want to get the characters from 0 to 9, then we need to add 48 to the integer value. So for example, if the integer value was 5, then we need to add 48 to get 53 to give us the ASCII character 5. And to get the characters from A to F, we need to add 65 to the integer value. Next, we store a copy of R16 and R28. And then we subtract 58 from R28 using the subtract immediate instruction. And then we check the result, whether it is positive or negative, by using the instruction branch on plus to label. So if the result was negative, it means that the ASCII values are for characters from 0 to 9, and then we can display it on the LCD screen as a most significant digit. On the other hand, if the result was positive, then it means that the ASCII values are for characters from A to F, then we can jump to the subroutine where we need to add 7 to R16 to get the ASCII value for characters from A to F and then we can display it on the LCD screen. In a similar manner, we can process the least significant nibble of the digitized 8-bit value and display it on the LCD screen as a least significant hexadecimal digit. A quick look at the assembly code, which was uh, mostly explained in my previous videos. This subroutine initializes the analog to digital converter. In subroutine LCD write, we initialize the LCD screen, and then we call this function to display a text message on the first line. Subroutine display message its objective is to display this uh, text message on the first line of the LCD using the ASCII directive, which will store the string in flash memory. The ASCII directive is preceded by the label message. Inside the subroutine display message, we first load the string into the register pairs R30 and R31. And then through the pointer associated with this register pair which is pointer Z 
we load character by character into register R16. So initially Z is pointing to the first character. It is loaded into R16 and then incremented, the pointer is incremented by one, so now it is pointing to the next character. Next we compare the value of R16 with 0. 0 meaning that is it the null character which is the end of the string. If not then this instruction will be skipped and then we go and display the character on the LCD and then jump to the next uh, process. So we jump here. So now Z is pointing to the next character. It is loaded into 16. Pointer is incremented and so on. And then we compare. Now when we get to the end of the string it means we have a null character. This compare will be true and this instruction the branch on equal will be executed. We jump to uh, label exit and exit means we return. It means the end of the subroutine. Within subroutine read ADC we get the low byte result from ADCL and copy it into R16. And then we get the high byte result from ADCH and copy it into R16. Note that here we are losing the low byte and that's okay because our focus is on the high byte. Now keep in mind you have to do you have to get the low byte first and then the high byte because this is how the analog digital converter works. Otherwise if you read directly the high byte without reading the low byte you will get incorrect values. Now register R16 has the 8-bit digitized value. We store a copy of this in the stack because we will need this uh, value later on. We mask the least significant uh, nibble and keep the most significant nibble. We swap the position of the most significant nibble. We add 48 to the uh, R16 value so that we can get the ASCII characters from 0 to 9 and then we save a copy of uh, R16 in R28. We subtract uh, from R28 58 and then we check whether it's positive or negative. If it's negative then this instruction will be ignored. This is branch on plus. Then we display the ASCII character uh, which is from 0 to 9 on the LCD screen and this represents the most significant digit of the 8-bit uh, hexadecimal number. When the subtraction gives us a positive result then this branch instruction will be executed and we jump to this label. And here we will add 7 to R16 in order to get the ASCII values for the characters from A to F and then we jump back to L1 which is to display on the LCD screen the ASCII value. Next we want to display the least significant digit of the hexadecimal number on the LCD screen and to do that we need to get back from the stack the digitized 8-bit value using the POP instruction and store the value in R16. So now R16 has the 8-bit value. We mask the most significant nibble and keep the least significant nibble then we add 48 to R16 and then we store a copy of R16 into R28 and then we subtract from R28 58 and see whether we have plus or minus result. If the result is uh, negative this instruction will be skipped and we display the least significant uh, digit on the LCD screen. Otherwise if the result is positive then this instruction will be executed and we jump to the label which is here and then we add 7 to R16 to get the ASCII values for the characters A to F and then we jump to L2 which is to display the least significant digit on the LCD screen. In a future video I will modify the project so that decimal values of the digitized result be displayed on the LCD screen. Thank you for watching.